now on to the Superintendent's Award. The Superintendent's Award in Alameda is for outstanding citizenship, academic achievement, and contributions to school and community. It is Akashi Sastri. students. We are all here today to celebrate the graduation of the Will C. Wood Middle School class of 2009. My name is Akash Sastry. I think I speak for us all when I say that three years ago when we entered the sixth grade we felt a little scared, anxious, and a bit older. But now, after three long, hard years, we are finally graduating. When you graduate, there's always a huge sense of accomplishment. And guys, I hope we do feel accomplished, because now we are moving on to a bigger campus, taller kids, and harder classes. <laughs> Middle school has had its ups and downs, but it has definitely been a great experience. We have shared wood for the past three years. Wood school is the same school in, we learned, in which we learned math, history, and science. The same school in which we laughed and played. The same school we fought for when we heard about its possible closure in 2008. But we will still have to part ways with some of us going to Alameda High School, others on their way to Encinal High School, and a few others attending other schools. Cheers. But wherever we go, we will make new friends, forge new relationships, and embark on yet another four-year chapter of our lives. But let's remember, let's remember to have fun in whatever we do. Speaking of fun, I'd like to share a few lighter moments of our past middle school and future high school careers. Let's start with middle school. You know you're in middle school when you're greeted by a new principal on the first day of school for three consecutive years. <laughs> you know you're in middle school when you're in fifth period and the clock seems like it isn't moving. For those of you who don't know, that's the period right before lunch and it seems like the teachers are freezing the clock. <laughs> you know you're in middle school when you allow yourself to wait till 1 o'clock a.m. of the due date to finish your portfolio. <laughs> and finally, you know you're graduating middle school when you look around at your teacher's smiling faces. They're never going to see you again. <laughs> That's why they're smiling. It's unfortunate they didn't allow cell phones in middle school because if you needed a quick excuse on why you didn't have your homework, there's an app for that. <laughs> and if you wanted to know what happened in the latest chapter of Cage Bird, there was an app for that. Or if you wanted to see what was worse, how much homework your teachers gave you or the economy, there was an app for that. Or if you needed to pick a restaurant on a minimum day Wednesday, there's an app for that. <laughs> yep, there's an app for just about anything. Seriously though, the last few years have been fun. But let's remember, we had a lot of help to get us through these three years. Our teachers have done everything in their power to support us and prepare us for high school. 
and a lot of them are here today. Mr. Muller, you put up... Mr. Muller, you put up with me every day since the beginning of eighth grade, and I imagine that must have been pretty hard. But hey, my parents have had it worse, because they've had to put up with me for 12 years. <laughs> Mr. Covey, you made geometry class fun and challenging. You often called me Anakin or Dark, and I don't quite understand how that name came to be, but I really hope it doesn't come with me to high school. <laughs> Coach Plump's here today. Where's Coach P? Raise your hand. Well, give it up for Coach P. What's up, Coach P? No offense, Hartwig, but Coach P, you've been one of the greatest PE teachers ever. I heard the high school PE teachers actually make you do an ex do your exercises and run a six minute mile. <laughs> and if there's one thing I'll remember all through my life from middle school, our principal chose announcements every morning. Good morning, students, and good morning, staff. This is Mr. Cho speaking. <laughs> And when he said peace, we were asked to say love. <laughs> love. Also to my parents and family. They've helped me through everything and motivated me. And when I was down, helped me and picked me up. And to all my friends and fellow students, thank you so much for making middle school fun with the jokes, laughs, and basketball during lunch every day. And you, Max. I really don't understand why your signature has changed from shank eponymous to ice cream paint job, but I bet the next time you text me, it's going to change again. <laughs> Finally, high school will be tough, and we'll have to work even harder. We'll have to work with deadlines, homework overloads, and more, striving to achieve our goals. So far, however, life has come very easy for us. Our grandparents once used pen and paper next to candlelight to do their homework. Our parents once used typewriters to do their homework. And we were lucky enough to have Microsoft Word and iWork. <laughs> Times have changed for the better, and we should be glad to have so much technology at our fingertips. So let's remember, as we move on through our life, to have fun and to live. Congratulations, class of 2009. We have graduated. Thank you, Akash, for that very entertaining speech. Right now, I'd like to announce the Best in Subject Awards. For Algebra 1, Jennifer He. Akash Sastri. Oh, Audie Savannah.